Hi, uh, thanks for coming back. So continuing this theme from James chapter 5 about how the rich have exploited the poor, uh, let's pick the reading up in verse 4. Look, the wages you fail to pay the workers who mowed, the f mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. That sense of, uh, well, just how unfair, unjust it is that we, we've exploited the, those who work for us. We've kind of squeezed uh, every ounce of energy and um, ability from them. Uh, and even when they cry out first to us, they're crying for fairness, they're crying for justice, they're crying for equality um, against their masters. And those cries that are unheard or unheeded by the rich exploiter are heard by the Lord Almighty. And he's gonna, going to judge the rich based on what he has heard from those who are poor. That's what we're getting at here. Uh, the, the the dishonesty of the people that he's attacking. I don't think James is 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 criticizing those who have who are wealthy who've made money. What he is criticizing is those who have who failed to use that for the benefit of others, who've exploited others to be able to gather this wealth. But look, the wages you fail to pay your workers, the cries of the harvesters, they've all reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. There's a wider um, application here, I think, that as we cry out for justice, as we cry out for um, God to intervene in all sorts of situations, not to do with uh, so much with personal um, comfort, but the as, as we pray for the needs of the world, as we pray for areas of conflict, as we, as we cry out on behalf of those who are weak and vulnerable and uh, exploited, God hears those prayers. And I love the kind of reminder of that that James gives us here. God hears those prayers and he hears the passion. He hears the, the angst that we carry and the desire that we have to ensure that everything um, comes, to, uh, comes to pass in a way that is fair, in a way that is in accordance with his will and not with our greed. So there's something to think about there that um, God hears the cries of those who feel put upon, those who are um, uh, abused, uh, and, and uh, he hears the cries and he will respond. The day will come when he will respond to those cries, both with mercy for those who are crying, but also with judgment for those who are causing them to cry. Let me pray. Father, you blessed us in so many ways. Help us to bless others. Amen. Amen. Short and sweet. I'll see you tomorrow.